What's going on guys, welcome to week five of the subscriber store review series. So every single week I'm taking three random followers of my Instagram account and reviewing their Shopify stores in a video um, like this one today. I do realize I'm a few days behind on these, so week six will be coming kind of in the next three to four days instead of the next seven. So if you guys do want to get a chance for your store to feature in one of these videos and essentially get reviewed, just make sure you head over to Instagram and follow me on there um, and then look out for a post similar to this one that you see on your screens now. And with that being said, then guys, thanks for tuning in. We have a general store, a general store, and a one product store to have a look and go through in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please do make sure you hit that like button. Any comments, questions, video suggestions, I answer every single one. So just post it down below and I will get back to you. Um, and please do make sure you subscribe as well. Only 30%, sorry, 30% of the people who watch these videos are actually subscribed to my channel. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do that right now um, before you watch any more. With that being said, then thanks again and let's jump straight into it. So the first store I'm going to be looking at today is Trend and Trinity. It is in fact a general store and I will in fact be looking at all three of these stores through a mobile device. I've currently got my phone in front of me right now and um, the reason being is because the majority of your customers if you're using social media marketing will be looking at your stores on a mobile device. So even though you've probably designed and built your store on a desktop on Shopify just make sure you check out absolutely everything through your mobile device to make sure that everything looks good, everything looks optimized. There's no layout issues, nothing like that at all. So trainertrinity.co.uk, they've got a .co.uk domain, so the chances are these guys are probably focusing on just a UK market. From past experience, I've always found that if you go for international markets, so mainly the US, Canada, Australia, they will prefer to shop in a .com domain. It does make a difference to what your conversion rate will be. But on the flip side of that, buy tags in the UK and other European countries, they're a lot less competitive than the US. So your money goes further in terms of your ad spend. So what I'm trying to say basically is just make sure you test each market individually, compare the results, and then just stick with the one that actually works. So that being said, they're moving on to the store at the top. They have a nice big banner, a nice kind of like minimalistic feel to it in terms of the fonts they've used spring sale 70% off which is great um, I quite like the look of this theme they've got the menu icon in the middle simple drop down there and then easy to navigate and then we go straight into the product so no hero image nothing like that it's just straight into the shop which I've got no problems with to be honest the overall look and feel of this looks really good as long as I've got a decent about us page and a contact us page because ultimately customers want to know who they're buying from and they want to know that they can get hold of you they can contact you um, if there's a problem with their order so these are details that you must include on your site in terms of the products they look fine and um, they've all been really named um, by the looks of things the prices are very very cheap and um, you would struggle to sell a lot of these products profitably on the front end when it comes to Facebook ads um, now I don't know which particular product they're focusing on which is kind of a good thing to be honest because you want to make sure that every single product page looks good and is up to scratch in case your customers go shopping around so I'm going to check out the footer just to make sure they have got all the correct links as you can see they've got their collection lists which are fine all the images are pretty decent quality some have text on some don't so that is one potential improvement that they can make if you go into any branded store all of their images look like they've been taken by the same person on the same day if that makes sense and that is kind of one of the downfalls to a general store or to drop shipping is that unless you buy a sample product of every single one and take the image yourself then your images are going to look a bit mismatched but ultimately it's not going to hurt your success rate um, to too much. With that being said then we have their footer which in terms of it being pleasing to the eye it looks good but there's no contact us page here which is um, a big no-no you have to have contact details unless it's in here best sellers so no this is all just different products so to my knowledge unless I've missed something here there's no contact details on this website which is really going to harm your conversion rate if you install apps like lucky orange you can see the kind of pages customers go to a lot of customers will look at your contact us page or your actual Facebook page as well just to make sure that you are legit essentially and you are an established business that they can trust so this is the product I've chose at random it is a derma roller a 196 titanium micro needle facial derma roller that's quite a mouthful or perhaps rename it to something a bit simpler or easier to to recognize or something unique to the brand so it could be the tnt micro roller or something like that just to kind of 
try and brand your products through the names of them it makes it that bit more difficult for your customers to find it elsewhere too they have some decent images now in my opinion I would prefer kind of like scrollers for a mobile device because some products that have loads of different variants loads of different colors or loads of different kind of different options if you have say six eight or twelve images the customer is going to be scrolling two or three pages down just to get to the add to cart button which is again um, a big no-no just one small little thing I have noticed kind of like a housekeeping issue is that these images aren't the same size either for the time it takes it's worth doing it just adds that level of professionalism which you should have in your stores and um, they've got the price it's on sale now they've got the variants which are misnamed this is something that you've if you've watched the previous weeks you'll see this comes up time and time again too many people don't have that attention to detail so we're selecting different sizes here we're not selecting colors so it's just one of those housekeeping issues that you need to take care of and then the other thing is the product description so the by the looks of things, when you import products through Obelo, this looks like the default kind of description that comes across from AliExpress. A lot of this will be kind of broken English, won't have any real relevance to what the customer wants to know. In some cases, because it doesn't make sense, it is broken English and there's spelling mistakes and it's not punctual, it will even put your customers off. So again, this is something you need to take care of. If you're gonna put products on your store, make sure that regardless of whether you plan on selling them or promoting them through Facebook, that you take the time to write decent professional and proper product descriptions the next website we have is also a general store it's called Nadia's smart home gadgets.com an international store they have the blue announcement bar at the top I really like the blue however I think that emojis are a bit overkill I wouldn't have two on here I would just have the one and I would have it on the right hand side um, in terms of having one either side in my opinion it's just a bit overkill um, the logo itself whilst it's a custom logo on a mobile device I don't know if you guys can quite see that but it's quite difficult to read or understand looking at on a mobile device so I'll change it up just to make it a bit more easier to understand and recognize especially if you're going to be running Facebook ads and building some form of a brand and you want customers to kind of recognize you when you retarget them with new ads the next thing is they have a hero image which is it's, it's, it's like a meme image rather than it's not really doing anything for the site and it's kind of crossing that line in my opinion between coming a yes we are a general store yes we are selling certain products but we still want to come across as a professional business and in my opinion a professional company wouldn't post an image like this one so if this was my store if I was talking in terms of this was my store and these were the changes that I would personally make um, I would remove this image and change it to something some kind of product or offer that you want to advertise now in reality it's probably not going to be much of a big deal because most customers probably won't see your home page they'll just go straight to your product page however like I said if this was my store these would be what some of the changes I would definitely consider they have the blue view now button which is fine because it matches the blue at the top they have the different collection lists and then they go into a product so it's pretty much like the default layout of the debut theme which I'm looking at the manicure baby nail clipper um, $30 the variants are matched up and named correctly but then they have the add to cart button and the buy it now button in the same color now if it was me what I would do is I would match all of these blues together just to create that kind of uniformity if that's even a word throughout the store so so what I would do is get the hex color for this um, announcement bar at the top I would make this view now button the same hex color the same blue then I would make this sale color. So you see um, it says 2868 sale. I would also make that in the same blue. And then I would make the A to C button that same blue as well. And like I said, it just creates that uniformity or that synchronicity if that is even a word um, throughout the store which just makes your store come across as more professional if we skip down into the footer then I'll come back to the product pages in a second um, this is done fine um, it's a decent layout they've got all the kind of typical links you would expect to find in an e-commerce sites um, footer like the different privacy and refund and shipping policies and FAQ and a contact us one as well by the looks of it now I know I'm gonna I'm being a bit nitpicky here but the s on the us in the contact us is a capital as well I would just make that lowercase just so again it's just a bit more uniform throughout your site and then they have a gmail.com account now to tell the honest truth I've had successful stores that have run from gmail accounts but you can get a custom email domain um, for about in fact I think the price has gone up I think it's 12 pounds per month now for a G suite email account so for example then you could have support at 
nadiasmarthomegadgets.com and I just think it looks that much more professional um, and it's definitely worth doing. So the product page then, I've gone for the baby nail clippers since this is the products on the home page. Um, the name is fine, they've got a review app here, eight five star reviews. Now eight is probably a bit touch and go but I would say where possible you want to try and include at least some three and four star reviews by the looks of it if we just quickly flick through. They have, they've got looks reviews which is good, it's the only review app I recommend to people but you need to have three and four star reviews in there as well because otherwise it just looks a bit fishy, a bit suspicious. Even the best companies in the world don't all have five star reviews and um, they have the color variant which is fine. Um, I don't think I've missed anything up here by the looks of things. I've got some good quality images and then we've already mentioned the add to cart color button then have have trouble trimming your child's nails. Now I'm not I don't have a kid so I wouldn't know whether that is a common problem or issue people have. If it is then absolutely fine. What you want to always do with your product descriptions is highlight the issue to your customer and then offer the solution. So the solution is fine here. So they have followed that format which is absolutely perfect. You just need to make sure you're addressing a true issue or a true problem that people are experiencing. Just reading through this now then, there's a bit of a layout issue here. So baby nail trimmer gives parents a solution to the dangers of ordinary nail clippers specifically designed to safely and quickly trim. So is that the same sentence? I'm not 100% sure. If it isn't, then that specifically obviously needs to have a capital S on. They've got a really detailed product description which is great however it's a bit too extensive for my liking the keywords need to be in bold a bit better here that information just needs to be a bit more easily consumed just to make it that easily that more that much more faster for your customer to see the key information um, and then be ready to make a purchase the other thing as well with a product like this because it is with a quite a fragile quite a delicate and fragile topic obviously people for the right reasons are very protective um, especially over babies then when you when you say electric nail polisher it sounds quite harsh it sounds like some kind of power tool people are naturally going to be hesitant about using a product like this um, on their baby so if it was me and I wanted to try and sell this successfully I would definitely you need a video of how the product works the sound it makes how effective it is and most importantly how safe it is as well so they've got looks reviews which is great like I've already mentioned it's the only review app I have on my own stores but what you need to do is read through these and make sure they make sense because the reviews come from Aliexpress it's not just English speakers on Aliexpress so a lot of these will be broken English and again if they don't make sense they're going to look fake and it's not going to look very trustworthy did not try it on baby tried it on my fingers it's fast so if it was me I would remove this one because again you're selling within the baby niche you need these reviews to sound like they've come from mothers moving on to the third and final store then guys we have a one product store it's called meatdefroster.com I absolutely love the name there's a huge opportunity here to sell this product successfully I really like the product it featured in one of my product videos a few weeks ago um, there is a new video on new products coming very shortly as well so if you want to make sure you don't miss out on that make sure you do subscribe um, and I've actually ordered one of these myself as well to test if it really is as effective as what it shows in the videos so I've just had a quick flick through and by the looks of things this store is set up in two different ways so we have this is essentially their home page which to me it needs quite a bit of work it looks a bit spammy there's a few layout issues but then they also have this page here the meet miracle page which looks a bit more like a typical product page and this is 10 times better so this is what I'm going to go through now in this video so the images are really good in but for whatever reason um when I'm clicking on them, it's not showing them at the top, which comes across as a bit of a malfunction in my opinion. I think most customers, most visitors would expect to click on an image and it then display it at the top so they can see it without having to kind of double click it to then see it. Um, so that's something I would definitely change if, if given the opportunity. Size, you have medium or large, which is great. I'm assuming they'll have the sizes somewhere else detailed. They do at the bottom. Now, because it's not a lot of dimensions to include, what it, I would do if it was me, I'd have medium and then in brackets, the actual dimensions of it, and then large and then again in brackets, the dimensions. They've got the quantity, they've got the prices, everything looks really good so far. Then we come to a limited stock bouncing button. Now, to be honest, I think they look these look a bit spammy, but you'll have to test with your audiences and see which converts best 
do two weeks at this, then two weeks with one that isn't jumping around and see which one converts the best and obviously just stick with that particular one. This free shipping checkbox, this needs to be bigger. It needs to be centralized like everything else on the page. Bit of a layout issue there in my opinion. They have this GIF which is working really well. It illustrates how the product works, which is great. I think this is done really well so far. Again, they've got some decent images and GIFs. They've got the keywords involved. So far, so good. There's just those couple of little things that need tidying up in my opinion and then we'll have a really nice looking product page to finish off this store then we have a faq for the actual product specifically now this is something you don't see very often but because it is a one product store you want to make sure you put as much information as possible about the product so i think it's a great idea it works really nicely and then they go into the reviews which have got images they've got a really nice looking review app where you can see the country of it um, and basically they've just done a really good job in fact it looks pretty professional so apart from those few minor little layout issues and things i mentioned at the top then they've got a really nice looking product page here. To make this successful, in my opinion, you need to build out your socials and make sure you come across as um, this is your sole product, this is your sole brand, and essentially build a brand around it, post content about barbecuing um, and meat and things like that, different memes. We're coming into the perfect time, a product like this I think can sell really well if you have the brand in, the content and the site. Um, and the influencers behind it too, there's tons of influencers on YouTube. Influencer marketing doesn't just have to be on Instagram, it can be on YouTube. So definitely start getting in touch with people like that um, and getting them to promote your product. And with that being said then guys, that is it for this video. Those are the three stores I wanted to show you. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something new as well. If you did, please do make sure you let me know by leaving some sort of comment, leave a like on the video, make sure you subscribe. And finally, to kind of finish the video off then, I I do have a training program um, of which I do offer my full support and guidance. It's called the Ecom Academy. If you've never heard of it, please do go check it out, see what you think. And then if you've got any comments or questions about it, just make sure you let me know. There will be a video link, a video link, a link in the video description below. That being said, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.